rising in parts of the St. Louis area, and so is the threat of major flooding. Good evening, everyone. I'm Courtney Bryant. Tonight, we know a Jefferson County man has died in this flooding. And Missouri Governor Eric Greitens is calling up the National Guard to help with flood relief across the state. We have team coverage tonight. Chief Meteorologist Steve Templeton is tracking river levels. Marielle Mose is live following sandbagging efforts along the Merrimack River. But we begin with Alexis Zotos in Valley Park, where people are preparing for a difficult week ahead. Courtney, that's right. You can actually see behind me, it's still very dry here at 141 and I-44, but MoDOT is right now shutting down 141 in preparation for another historic flood to hit this area. Friends and family turned out Sunday afternoon to build a sandbag wall in hopes of preventing another massive loss for the family-owned business off of 141. The water last time it come all the way up to this outlet right here. It was four feet deep. It was just 16 months ago that the historic flood shut down roads, businesses, and flooded homes in Valley Park. It was a 500-year flood. It was a historical flood, and uh, I assumed that I probably wasn't going to be here in 500 years, so I assumed that was the last one I'd ever deal with. But unfortunately, no, here we are. Homeowners on the other side of the Merrimack in Valley Park are also preparing for the water to rise. The city says this time they at least have more warning, but there's not much they've been able to do in terms of prevention. When the rivers come up this high, like they've never been uh, in the recorded history of the Merrimack River, um, there's really not a lot that we can do other than each time becomes a learning situation. MoDOT is also taking lessons learned from 2015. They shut down 141 Sunday night. 44 will close as well. We are certain I-44 is going to close. We're not quite certain if it will close Monday night or Tuesday morning, but it will close with the forecasts that we see. The construction project at 44 and 141 will prevent flash flooding in the future, but will not help in situations of historic flooding like this. That particular solution would cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Tom Gerda's business, as well as the fast food restaurants around him, will now have to shut down and wait and see what happens. We're being proactive. We're building a wall that's going to be at least three and a half feet tall, and we're hoping to keep the water from going inside. So you can see right there, those are the MoDOT crews that are right now shutting down 141. They say prepare for this to be shut down potentially until the weekend. They are asking for people to be patient and prepare for alternative routes for your Monday morning commute. Live in Valley Park, Alexis Zotos, News 4. Tonight